I'm Paul Drogamuller. It's a good Australian name, origin, Germany. But I'm from Paracombe in the Adelaide Hills of South Australia, is where we have chosen to settle and plant and produce our gra grow our grapes and produce our wine. And the story starts 30 years ago after Ash Wednesday bushfires in 1983. And that's when we first planted our vineyard. And it's now gone from less than five acres or a few hectares to around 30 hectares and a very nice winery in a pretty part of the world. We've been really fortunate to be involved in the Swedish market that goes back to the early 90s when we had students visiting. We'd kick the footy, have a few barbecues on the veranda of our home, pick a few grapes and now it's come to work with Johan Lidby in Stockholm over for the last 14 years exporting wine to Sweden. And could you explain a little about the climate, soil and the different grape varieties just in sure. the Adelaide Hills? In the Adelaide Hills it's quite varied, it's 80 kilometres long but we are positioned on the northeastern end of the hills. We get lots of sunshine hours. We're much cooler temperature than Adelaide down on the flat or at warmer regions to the north. We have around one metre of rainfall. We're on an iron stone gravelly over a clay base soil, so relatively infertile type ground. Um, we first planted Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Cabernet Franc 30 years ago. We have addition to that, we grow Riesling, Pinot Gris, more Pinot Noir planting, Shiraz, Cabernet, Merlot, Malbec. So it's quite a lot of varieties, but it makes it really interesting to do. Personally, Lily, I love uh, your Sauvignon Blanc. I think that's fantastic. And it's so different from other Sauvignon Blancs, yeah. and I really like it. And I also like the 09 Cabernet Sauvignon. It was mm. so elegant. The 09 Cabernet Sauvignon um, will be, it'll be the first um, shipment will be coming, arriving soon. It is lovely wine. It's my wife's favorite wine. It's got lots of flavor now. I think it's a wine that'll also have some good ageability. Not that many of us age wines for such a long time these days. It's already 2009, so it's got four years of aging. Um, and the Sauvignon Blanc, it's seriously, it's been Paracombe's flagship for a long, long time. And we stay very dedicated to making a very site specific that we grow on that gravelly iron stony ground from our own vineyards to represent what we are for Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. Um, uh, what about the just short question about the future? Uh, a lot of people are concerned about the climate changing. And uh, what about Australia and Australian winemaking? Um, I think we cannot be all categorised the same. As we said, we're from a cool part of Australia. Uh, the climate change doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me uh, how that is. I don't think we can control whatever happens. But where we grow it, we're going to see much less impact uh, mm. from what everyone says is happening with climate change. We might just become slightly warmer. We're actually planting grapes on cooler slopes now. So our new plantings are all on sort of the coldest slopes. So I think it'll become about site selection mm. as to match up with the wine styles that are being required. But is it easy to find those, uh, uh, those regions that are uh still in, um, I mean, are they available to... No, they're certainly not fly. in Australia, uh, in the Adelaide Hills. Um, we, we're, in we're in control of catchment for Adelaide water, so we've got mm. lots of restrictions, and there's a zero growth on that. So what it might do is push land prices that already have existing permits to have vineyards. So mm. it's going to see perhaps a bit more of the European platform of you know, small wine regions may become quite valuable wine regions. Um, and I think, you know, it's our responsibility to work with nature there that we do preserve that water catchment as a purity thing for the city. Hmm. So, thank you very much. <laughs>